If you want to manifest the love or the life that you desire, it starts the moment you wake up. Before you even get out of bed, you have to catch the momentum of your mind. Here's how you can get out in front of it and start a positive tone for your day. Step one to breaking negative cycles to manifest the love or the life that you desire is to connect with your body. The moment you wake up, place one hand on your heart, one hand on your stomach, and you're gonna take three deep breaths. The simple act of touch and breath helps ground you, helps you stay connected to your body and keeps your mind from spiraling out of control. You wanna catch yourself, literally catch yourself, ground yourself, connect with your breath. And then in that moment, three affirmations to manifest love or the life that you desire. Affirmations are a very powerful tool. So while you are connected with yourself through breath, you're gonna redirect your mind with three affirmations. I always focus on the number three because the number three has significant meanings when it comes to creation in the Bible. So if you wanna manifest love, here are three suggested affirmations. Every morning, your makes me smile. I cherish our mornings together, especially when we waking up to the warmth of your gives me a sense of peace and happiness. These affirmations set a tone for your day and help you focus on the love that you wish to attract. Obviously customize them on your own, but as you can see, I state them as if my specific person is already there. I'm living in the moment. So it's very important that you don't use any destination words. Focus your intention and create affirmations as you wish. I want you guys to start recognizing the importance of morning thoughts and feelings. When people say that they woke up on the wrong side of the bed, it's because they woke up and they allowed their mind to start spiraling out of control. Start jumping into the future and begin worrying. It is imperative that you take that time in the morning to connect and redirect. If you want to start living a life you love, or if you want to attract love into your life, you have to be very intentional about the energy that you bring into the world because energy and vibration is the currency of the spiritual world. So connect and redirect. The next step is as you move into the day to reframe your storytelling. Gossiping is storytelling. Your morning phone call is storytelling. When you get to work and you talk to your friends about what happened last night, what's going to happen later today, it's all storytelling. We are all storytellers, you guys. And every story we tell writes the chapters in our lives. So if you want to manifest love and success, you must reframe the stories you tell about these topics. I always say negativity creates blocks, closed doors, and rumination in the mind while positivity creates pathways and possibilities. So I want you guys to start paying attention to how you speak about your daily experiences and your relationships, whether that be love, friendship, or business. Listen to the difference between a negative spin on a conversation and a positive spin on a conversation. Feel the difference. We're gonna use a breakup because that's an easy topic. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, no, we broke up. No, he's a loser. He's a cheater too, and he's always lying. I have no clue where that guy is half the time. He talks out both sides of his mouth. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I keep attracting guys like this. I seriously feel like I am just not meant to be in a healthy relationship. I don't think there's really any good guys out there left anyway. You feel that spiral? It's like, oh, what does it remind you of, you guys? Closed doors. All the doors are closed. It leaves no room for possibility. Now let me give you a positive spin. And it took me a while to get here, ladies, trust me. <laughs> Yeah, we ended up breaking up. No, I know we had our challenges for sure. Yeah, no, it takes two. I'm not blaming him. You know, it takes two for a relationship to collapse. I think I'm just going to pump the brakes for a second, take this time to reflect. I definitely need to probably work on my communication skills and being a little more vulnerable just so the next time I'm in a relationship or if we ever get back together, I could just do my best to show up as my best self. See the difference? There's just... Open doors, possibilities, accountability, all of it creates growth. All of it creates evolution of self. As long as you're placing blame and you're the victim, you're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck in the momentum of your mind and you ruminate. And that leaves no room for growth. And that's what relationships are for. Number three for breaking negative cycles to manifest love or the life you want is understanding the pain body. 
This is very important. The pain body is an energetic field that's an accumulation of unresolved issues. When we react to triggers, meaning like when we snap at someone, that's usually our pain body that is responding. Because as long as you're living in a reactive state, none of your relationships are going to move forward. Most likely they will all collapse. So if you want success, if you want love, you have to start addressing the pain body. And this is exactly how you do it. You start by scripting your pain. You have to speak and script from the pain body. You have to allow your pain to have a voice. This should be very vulnerable. This should be your deepest thoughts and feelings. If you're not mortified, if someone found this, then you're not doing it right. And in the process of writing this stuff down, you're releasing. You're releasing negativity. You're also creating intimacy. Intimacy with who? Intimacy with you. Because into me I see. Think of the pain of an external wound. We know exactly what to do. What do we do? We need to rinse this off. Why? To avoid infection. What do we need to do next? We need to put some cream on it. Why? To help the healing process. What do we need to do next? We need to cover it with a band-aid. Why? To protect it. This is how we have to start addressing our internal wounds. The pain is saying, what do you need? What do you need? And address the healing process. Do something to heal it and then do something to protect it. The same way we rush to address external wounds. Scripting is your way of addressing an internal wound. Acknowledge the pain, understand it, and take the steps to heal. And the last thing that you want to hear, because I know we're all very impatient and we want everything now, is that cultivating patience is a huge part of having a beautiful life. It's a huge part of the process when it comes to manifesting, when it comes to cultivating healthy relationships, everything. The next step to break negative cycles to manifest the love and the life you desire is to protect your environment. Just like an external wound where you would protect it by wrapping a band-aid around it, you have to protect your internal environment while you are healing. You have to stand guard on the doorway of your mind and feed it positivity. If you want to manifest love, surround yourself with happy couples. If you want to manifest success, hang out with people that are killing it, that inspire you because you're constantly creating a mental map with your thoughts, with your conversations, with what you listen to, with the data that you digest, everything. If you are not where you want to be when it comes to love, when it comes to life in general, whether that's body goals, friendships, success, it's because you have a problem-based bias. Your mind is trained to focus on problems. So you literally have to force feed your mind to train your neural pathways to focus on solution-based responses and focus on possibilities and open doors. I have created tools for you guys to help manifest. They're my soul sync sessions and my soul sleep sessions. This is a combination of my music background, my NLP training, and my focus on feeding the mind rhythmic patterns because the mind seeks patterns. The soul sync sessions are five minute sessions. You're to do them every day, if you can, morning, noon, and night for 30 days. The soul sleep sessions are for you to listen to while you're sleeping. They're eight hours of presuppositions. This is different than affirmations. These are very powerful. They're customized for different mindset needs. If you're a procrastinator, if you have problems healing from heartbreak, if you have a fear-based mindset, they're all customized and categorized in my stand store, which you can find in the description box below. I also have links to free stuff. Start small and build. Don't complicate this process. With consistency, you can shape your mind to sculpt your reality. If you guys found this video helpful, please share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you guys on Friday.